my big hair on. Welcome to Gallus Calavans. We've got a plane to ourselves and we're going to Melbourne. Yeah, our plane's empty. It's like literally there's eight people on the plane so far. Uh, yeah, awesome. <laughs> I've never been on a plane this empty before in my life. Too warm, unlike Cairns. It's quite Sorry. less humid, isn't it? Oh, it's yeah. much less humid. But the best thing is there's no freaking bats, there are no crazy noises in the trees, it's just seagulls, and they're quiet. Look, they don't make any noise. I think, right, okay, so I think Uncle Tom's house is that one. The first one? Yeah. Oh, so not the ones down there? I, I don't think it's that one down there, I think it's that one. My uncle lived here. Um, or something, right a passage, but I think, I think it's that one. So there's no alligators here, or crocodiles here. Yay, great white sharks though, oh no. <laughs> but they're very rare. It's our first full day, and we're gonna go and see if we can find Uncle Tom's house. I'll explain a little bit more about Uncle Tom when we get there. But uh, this is like a pilgrimage for me, something very personal. That, um, it's taken me 33 years to get here. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy, excited, a bit. Emotional, but I'm good. I said it yesterday, but this feels like LA or California or I don't know Spain or something, doesn't it? <laughs> it's so weird. I love the big palm trees. Was it Marbella? This is my uncle Tom. Um, he was a professor of Italian literature and French and German. He spoke so many languages and just an amazing person. Uh, I met him a couple of times in my life. He took me traveling. He took me around Europe when I was in my 16, 17. Totally introduced me to a different world, different landscapes and cultures, and he lived here. And he passed away in 2002, and I never really got to meet him. It sucks. Oh, I never really got to meet him here, and when he showed me about. But yeah, weird sensation. We were meant to be meeting up with a couple of his friends later, because we've got. There's so many stories and stuff I don't know about them. I've got all these trinkets that I don't know much about. And now my mum and dad are not really with us anymore. My, my dad's passed away and my mum's not mentally capable. I just wanted to know more about these. I don't know if I'll ever figure it out or if I'll ever know. I don't even know what this one is. This one's cool. Mailbox 71. And that's as far as I'll ever get to see my Uncle Tom's apartment. It's totally humbled. <laughs> I only guess so much, honestly. Such a wave sensation in here. But look at this view. Can you imagine coming out here every day and looking at this? You'd never want to go home. Quite emotional, bizarre. It's only bricks and mortar, but it's, it's the thought behind it, isn't it? We're going to go up to university and look about where he worked. There's, um, he was a patron of Trinity College in Dublin. Uh, a fellow, sorry, and there's a, a Trinity College in 
Melbourne University. I don't know if I'll be able to get in. I just want to go and see it because I made this trip all the way. I just want to connect again a little bit. It's weird. It's so weird, there's still slatted blinds. That's the only thing I remember of seeing the photographs of the place. The one who lives there now, I bet it's someone totally different, but it's a hipster. <laughs> Although my Uncle Tom was like a hipster in the 80s, I think, with his big crazy beard. Uh, and his Italian food and all that. And... Crazy. So yeah, I owe that guy a lot. I know I owe my mum and dad a lot as well, but he really inspired me to travel. And he go, I, he's the only other person in my family that's been at university apart from me. And that was always a big thing for me. And he passed away in 2002 while I was sitting my final exams in my third year of uni. And I didn't come over because, well, I didn't think he'd want me to. <laughs> so I've never been here, so this is the first time I've ever been in. Oh, I totally get it. Why would you go back to Scotland when you can live in this paradise? Where everyone's super friendly and they ask how you are all the time and then you respond and you have a conversation with them it's not like home if you ask someone how they were they'd get in your face and go why what was it to you you know what i mean right let's head to the university i need some food and some water because i'm totally dehydrated so we're on the tram the next stop is st kilda station wow st kilda station so the trams are free in melbourne but not in st kilda which is a bit of pain but it was like five pound for a ticket for the whole day so it's not too bad it's pretty cool Nice journey. This bit here is the free zone. So this train runs through a little bit of the free zone and it's free. Yeah, and that's where all the tourist attractions are anyway. It's really cool. Interesting tram ride. I nearly get caught between the doors on the way out because I thought I had to put my ticket on the off thing, but the ticket inspector was like, what are you doing, you idiot? They literally kicked me out. <laughs> so this is the Melbourne Museum. I think it's open. It's got a total whiff of I'm shut forever about it, doesn't it? Wow. Oh, it just get very warm. <laughs> Alright, so there's a big event on or something, so this is all closed down. Oh, that sucks. Okay, so, University of Melbourne is somewhere here. I think it's over there. That's what Uncle Tom taught, so... He lectured there. I'm gonna go and have a little look. Is it that way? Yeah, let's go. Melbourne University, like the area, the town around it, feels like such a cool little microchasm, like a little cool micro community of just students and cool bars and clubs and places to eat, and it's awesome. It's so cool. I would definitely say this is a cool ass university. I wish I'd came here. Look at the sun. Imagine if I'd came here. I'd have never met you though, right enough. Well, I might have. Fate's weird that way. I'd have been tanned though, I had a ripped stomach, I'd have been a surfer guy. I'm gonna be this emo kid, yeah. <laughs> but then again, if I, then again, if I did, I'd never have left and I'd never have travelled as much. So, yeah, it's two sides of a coin. We're here, we're at Tin Alley. Finally at Tin Alley after all these years. University of Melbourne. Let's go see this place from afar. We don't have matriculation cards, so we won't be able to get in. But we'll see it from afar. It's gonna be cool. Everyone's chilled out and just sitting in the sun. It's a big modern university. It does, it's that total Cali vibe. That's uh, Caledonia University in Glasgow, not California. That's where we're going. I'm here, I'm finally here. Such an amazing building, it's like something at Hogwarts. It's beautiful. Wow. So yeah. This is where my uncle Tom lectured, this is where his office was. This was his home for like 20 odd years, working. Amazing. It's so Ivy League looking. Wow. It's like something like Oxford or Cambridge.
was four when he received us. And I made him a fellow at Trinity College. And we are at Trinity College in Melbourne. And it's absolutely beautiful. Although, I'm 100% sure that this was given to him at Trinity College in Dublin. But uh, yeah. Absolutely amazing building. Okay. Standing here right now under these arches in this place, I just I used to imagine my Uncle Tom walking up and down here. It's been an amazing day, an absolutely amazing day. Really, really emotional. I mean, it's been 15 years since my Uncle Tom passed away, but I'm still really affected by the power of that great personality and that unbelievably talent, talented man. It inspired me to get to where. I am educational wise and work wise today. I mean, I have a lot of inspiration from my mum and dad, obviously. They inspired me to travel, so did Tom. But to be here finally after 33 years and see, see this place with my own eyes, touch it, smell it and feel it. It's been wonderful. It's been absolutely wonderful. Absolutely blown away. So yeah, that's the end of today's vlog. I feel really grateful. So see you in the next vlog. See you guys later. Bye.